Hello everyone, this is Hillbilly Heath, and I've got a surprise video for you. Well, it was a surprise to me anyway. I wasn't planning on making this, but uh, my good friend uh, Patty's Potato Peelers uh, has a YouTube channel, and he uh, issued a what he called his Posh EDC Challenge. And uh, basically, if you don't know what that is, it's just uh, the EDC you would use in the summer. You know, lightweight kind of items that don't... Uh, you know weigh you down you know in the winter time we all we fill up with EDC items because we got heavier clothes on and everything but in the summer you know we're wearing loose baggy clothes and you know maybe a pair of shorts and a t-shirt so maybe we don't have room for all these EDC items but uh, this is some of my summer slash posh EDC items uh, you know I don't carry all these at once but uh, you know, these are just to give you some options uh, of the type of stuff you know of, of what I carry and uh, the the stuff on the table is things that I don't carry while I'm at work Now my work EDC would be different to be more be heavier but uh, this is the stuff that I carry when I'm not at work when I'm you know leisure time when I'm out for a day hike or uh, just going to town or to the supermarket or something like that so that's that's what these items are uh, we'll start out with some of the, the lighter weight items and, and get them out of the way so I can make room on the table here. Uh, and I would like to thank Patty for uh, issuing this challenge, by the way. Uh, but to start out, uh, I always have to have some type of writing utensil, uh, some type of, of ink pen. This is the one I've usually got in my pocket. Uh, it's a little smaller company, and it's MTAP, as you can see on there, and it stands for more than a pen. Uh, this is a, their quote unquote tactical pen and then you know it's it's a, a bolt action type pen uh, but it came with a, a kind of a cheap cartridge in it and I got a uh, Fisher space pen uh, inside cartridge inside there so it writes very well and you know it's, it's rather short and uh, you know does, doesn't take up much room in my pocket I'll bring out the tape measure here so you can kind of get a look at it so you can see that it's less it's less than four and a half inches long but uh, works great and I if I don't have this pen I'll usually either throw one of these sharpies in my pocket or maybe carry the pen and a sharpie you know so I've always got you know sharpies you can write on about anything uh, leave a message to somebody or you know some of that effect. So I usually got a sharpie of some kind. Uh, let's see. Next, I always got some type of way, some type of uh, multi-tool with me. Let me get this off these little carabiner here. But like the Leatherman Squirt, if I don't have my larger multi-tool, which is usually a, a Leatherman Wave. Then I usually got one of these two in my pocket. And I'll kind of show you with this one. This one is the uh, ES4, which, you know, I'm an electrician, so it's got some wire strippers on there. And like most of the squirts, you have a little, little knife blade, a file. little quote-unquote Phillips screwdriver flathead screwdriver and a cap lifter and a little pair of scissors and that's basically what's on most of the uh, the squirt models now this one's the PS4 which it has same all the tools on the outside except it's got little pliers instead of the uh, wire strippers so very handy little small multi-tool that you could throw in your pocket or put on a keychain. Uh, this is a little Kershaw knife with a cap lifter with a little small sheep's foot blade. I can't remember the name of it. I actually got this uh, as a set with another knife. I can't remember what the name of it was, but it you you know it's very inexpensive, like five dollars or something. But it's usually on my keychain. Uh, next, I usually always got some way to start a fire. 
most of the time it's a, just a small bick. I mean, inexpensive, very reliable, uh, lightweight. So that's usually what I carry. If not, one of some of these little uh, these little peanut lighters, you know, that you fill up with uh, lighter fluid like a Zippo. Uh, they work pretty well. They're a little heavier, but uh, you know they do the trick. Okay, move these out of the way a little bit. Uh, next, I usually have a watch of some type. Uh, even with my phone, and you know it having a clock on it of some kind. I grew up in a period before cell phones, so they're you know I'm just used to having a watch. So most of the time, it's just my Timex Expedition. Just your basic cheap Timex with the Indiglo feature. If I can get it to work. And it's coming on, you just can't see it because of the light. And, you know, very lightweight, but reliable. And I keep a little uh, Sunto compass on the band there. And if I need the, something a little dressier, I've got this uh, Sterling Original uh, mechanical watch. To check out the movement on there. Uh, you know, it's not as uh, reliable as far as keeping time as, as a quartz watch, but there's just something about the mechanic, the, you know, the workings of a mechanical watch that uh, just appeal to me but that's a great little great little dressier type watch uh, next I usually have a flashlight of some kind and in the summer it's nine times out of ten going to be this the S1R baton uh, this will go up to 950 lumens on the turbo mode it has uh, four modes, you know, moonlight, which is like 0.5 lumens, and then it uh, has a couple modes in between. Uh, got this pocket clip that'll, you know, I can clip it on the uh, bill of my hat, a baseball cap. Uh, it's got a magnetic base, so it'll, you know, stick to anything metal if I need to use it for that. So I can use it like a headlamp or, you know, fasten it to something metal. Uh, very handy little EDC flashlight. Uh, let's see. Next would be the most important item, of course, uh, a knife of some sort. And we'll start out here with the one at the top, the big one. If I'm going on a day hike and don't think I need a larger knife, this is usually what's in my pocket or on my side, I should say. This is the Bark River uh, JX6. Uh, made in one, uh, CPM 154 steel and if you don't know uh, Chris Tanner from Pre Prepared Mind 101 uh, designed this knife he's got a YouTube channel fellow YouTuber so if you uh, don't follow his channel go check him out he's got some a lot of good videos out there but he designed this knife and uh, Bark Rivers made it, and if you don't know, Bark River makes some very good fixed blade knives. Uh, it's it's small, but it carries small, I should say, but it, it works like a much larger knife. And uh, these come with a little like a, a leather sheath, but I had a, a Kydex sheath made for it, custom made Kydex, and it fits in there like that. And then I got the Clip it on the back of my belt, kind of like in the small of my back, and you can like tuck it under your shirt so it's not, you know, noticeable for anyone you don't want to know that you have a larger knife like that. Which actually, this knife isn't that large, as you can see. It's about seven and a quarter inches overall, and the blade's actually three and five eighths, somewhere in there. So I mean, it's not that large of a knife. Uh, the knife that's in my pocket most of the time, though, when I'm not at work, is the Manix 2 Lightweight. Uh, great slicer. Uh, this is one of the best all-around knives that I own. 
Uh, this could be a good tactical knife. Uh, like I said, a good slicer, food prep type knife. Uh, it just excels at a lot of tasks. And it weighs uh, under three ounces, so and it's got the good uh, uh, wire pocket clip from Spyderco, which I love. You got the ball bearing lock. Uh, now this is a uh, Knife Center exclusive model with CTS XHP steel, which is like a it's an upgrade from the uh, you know the the original one, which is I believe it's the CTS BD one is what the the original Manix lightweight is. But I mean you can get these in sprint runs and, and different steels, and uh, they make a S one ten V one. Uh, but yeah, that's this is a knife that's mainly in my pocket, especially in the summertime, because you know. But it does take up a lot of real estate in this dimension, but uh, still a great knife. Uh, some other options in the light uh, lightweight knife uh, folding knife for summertime would be the Benchmade 940, also under three ounces that long reverse tanto and you can't go wrong with the axis lock uh, another bench made would be the bug out and this one's under two ounces and still very large enough large enough to get you know about anything you need to do uh, great great little knife this just come out last year so uh, Kershaw has what what was this called uh, Atmos Kershaw Atmos this is a Sinkovich uh, excuse me Sinkovich design uh, but this is a, a, a Chinese Kershaw that is just really kind of blown me away uh, most of the Chinese Kershaws aren't very good but this one is excellent uh, you get the deep carry pocket clip uh, the kind of carbon fiber On the scales there, on the over the G10, hollow grind on the blade, uh, very slicey, and uh, this runs on ball bearings. I mean, it is just fall shutty, pops open with authority, you know, and it's just uh, a little over two ounces, I believe. So, like another light lightweight option. And of course, I got to throw in the rat number two in there as well. It's another good knife carry option. Now, most of the time, if I'm not carrying uh, one of these larger, larger modern folders, uh, I'll carry something traditional. If I'm maybe dressing up or going somewhere where I don't think I'm going to need one of these larger knives, I'll carry a slip joint. Lately, it's been one of these, like the Lion Steel Dom, with M390 steel, titanium bolsters and liners, ebony wood handles, you know, so I might carry that. And I usually carry them in some type of little leather protective sheath like that. Or if I'm not carrying that one, I might have my GEC number 15 uh, crown lifter green linen this has the uh, cap lifter slash screwdriver with it nice little EDC uh, blade size to stick just to have in your pocket or a good uh, secondary knife size so both of these would work in that role. Also got a little sleeve for it. Or maybe I'll carry my open L. Number eight. Uh, even light, this is the lightest knife on the table. Uh, but classic design. Uh, this one's a carbon steel. As you can see, I've put some striping on there. Uh, and I've modified the handle and everything, but uh, Customizes it to, to my taste and uh, you can either throw this in the pocket like it is uh, Sometimes I'll put 
put it in this little sheath like this and uh, run my belt through here and like carry it like that so I can just like cross draw it or I've even had this got this little uh, kydex so if that snaps in like that and then you wear it around your neck like a neck knife because like I said it's very lightweight so you don't even notice it's there but uh, there you go so that's some of my uh, posh EDC uh, some of my lightweight summer gear that uh, that I carry you know I don't carry all this at once I'll maybe have one slip joint or maybe I'll have the uh, Manix and one of the slip joints and of course I'll just wear one watch at a time and one of the multi-tools and one way to start a fire usually it's the big but sometimes I'll carry the, the peanut lighter uh, but yeah that's uh, just to give you some options of stuff you can carry uh, I'd like to thank Patty for giving me the challenge and uh, this is what I got Hope you like it, Patty. Hope everyone else that likes it. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.